Hello from the Bureau of Meteorology with a severe weather update on a developing cold front and low pressure system which between Wednesday and Friday of this week will bring gale force winds and some very heavy rainfall and thunderstorms to southern Australia. Now the next 24 hours we'll see a couple of cold fronts slip to the south, not going to cause too much impact. But it's this low and cold front which will develop overnight Tuesday into Wednesday that's going to bring the weather this week. By Wednesday we'll have gale force winds developing on the western flank of the low impacting Western Australia and South Australia coastal waters. The low will move towards the east overnight Wednesday into Thursday and really start to intensify. We've got these isobars very close together on the western flank of this low. That's where the strongest winds will be. We're expecting gale force winds but we may see storm force winds. That's winds in excess of 88 kilometres per hour impacting the central coast and also Spencer Gulf waters of South Australia overnight thir into Thursday. The low will move towards the east during Thursday. It gets quite complex with a couple of low centres develop. Over land, we could still see some gale force winds around the more elevated parts of South Australia, Victoria, and also southern New South Wales. So we're watching very closely and we may see some land severe weather warnings issued later in the week. The low keeps moving away, but it's a little bit uncertain as to just where these low pressure centres will develop. So we'll be monitoring very closely throughout the week and updating our forecasts. But of course, it's not just the, uh, the winds that we expect with this system. We also expect to see more rainfall through parts of the country which are very saturated. Widespread falls of 20 to 40 millimetres are possible uh, between Wednesday and Friday in the southeast. But we could see some higher falls, particularly around the Mount Lofty ranges of South Australia, the northeast of Victoria and southwest of New South Wales, also around the northeast of Tasmania as well. We could see some falls of between 80 and 100 millimetres through those areas. And of course, we're already very saturated. We have 22 flood warnings current throughout the eastern states, including a couple of major or three major warnings and one up in Queensland. Those areas luckily are not going to see the heaviest rain, but with still some more rain to come and particularly the heavy rain around the south, we could see some renewed river rises this week. We also have a flood watch for South Australia around the Mount Lofty Ranges and the Adelaide metro area for this very heavy rain that we expect to see with this intense low pressure system developing. So more heavy rain, damaging winds expected this week. So make sure you stay up to date with all the latest forecasts and warnings on the Bureau's website. You can follow us on Twitter and listen to advice from emergency services as this low develops.